Anna and I live in Sheffield. Um, I'm a South Yorkshire girl. I was born in Doncaster and I have a degree in fashion design um, and I work creatively, predominantly, in the field of dance. Yeah, my name's Janice Thorpe. Um, I've been volunteering uh, at the Suit Works for about four years, I think. Um, I live with my partner. I've got twin daughters. They're 29. Um, I don't know where the time's gone. Um, I've got a nine-month-old puppy. Um, who keeps me awake most of the night, but um, yeah, so I like coming to the Sue Works to get away from all of that. It was during lockdown, so obviously being in the creative industries, I wasn't doing a lot for the last 12 months, but um, I felt it was my time to give back somewhere, so I was looking for some charitable work that really kind of connected with my skills and also my interests. Um, which Suit Works does as a charity, uh, you know, standing exactly for empowering people and helping people to feel more confident through clothing, which I think that goes, you know, across the board for anybody. Um, so that kind of attracted me to sort of get in touch and go, do you need anybody? This is what I can do. This is my experience. Um, yeah, and that's how it started. I'd been working full time for 38 years. Um, I took early retirement, and much as I sort of enjoyed my leisure time, um, I felt like something was missing. So uh, a friend of mine suggested I come and have a chat with Vanda because she was looking for some volunteers. So I did that, and, and that's where it started. Everything and anything, um, sorting out donation bags, so going through things that people have bought. Obviously, they then need hanging, sizing, arranging in the store in order so they're easy to find when clients come in. Well, I do a variety of things. I'm mainly involved with the wardrobe side, so any uh, any donations that come in, I sort through the donations, decide what we can keep, uh, what we can't. Um, then either sort them into piles for cleaning or press them, iron the shirts and then basically sort them into the wardrobe. So I just come in for about half a day each week and basically I'll do anything that, that needs that needs doing. I'm, I'm not frightened to muck in with anything. I think the fact it's volunteering, knowing that you're making a difference to the people that work in the organisation but they're making a difference on a bigger scale. I just enjoy knowing that you know the organisation as a whole is making a difference and I'm sort of part of that and I just think it's fantastic that you know th these people are, are looking for employment often through no fault of their own and are struggling to get back into the workplace. They come here um, and they walk out feeling a million dollars because they're dressed in a really smart suit um, and they that just sort of puts them in a great place for going to the interview. They go in there feeling much more confident than they would have done if they'd not have had this service to rely on. The number one thing with donating, donate things that you would still wear. Please donate things that perhaps you've grown out of or your style has changed. Even though you are donating to a charity, we still really want those garments to look as good as new. Um, obviously, things on the inside or loose buttons, we can fix that, but um, just be mindful with what you're donating. Something that's pre-loved, but it still looks smart. Or equally, when we're going through the clothes, I always think if I was interviewing somebody wearing that, what would I think? And we want them to think that they're really presenting themselves well. with volunteering is to, to ring up and ask and you know the charity is so happy to have anybody helping it can fit around your current schedule and I really do think it's rewarding personally. You know I've certainly enjoyed it and I, and I hope to continue doing it and um, it's great for working with Vanda and Faye but it's just um, the feel good factor I suppose you know you feel as though you've, you've done something worthwhile I mean, for example, at home I avoid ironing at all costs, but here, ironing a pile of shirts has a whole new meaning because I know that someone's going to wear it and it's going to help with their sort of finding a new job process. So it's, um, it, it's just very worthwhile and enjoyable. I think if the last 
years taught me anything, it's about actually giving back and community um, and sharing. So yeah, it feels good to arrive. Um, it feels nice to be part of the team. Um, you know, I, in general, I freelance, so I'm working with different people. But it's nice to sort of come to a base and feel feel welcomed and ready for anything.